Oh hey, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about some photo workflow in combination with the PDV Pro 12 with the LED panel Pilot 1. But more than that, I still want to share with you more about my personal thoughts on some futuristic photo features that should be packed inside the LED panel Pilot 1. So want to know more about that, keep watching. My name is Yu Guo. I love 360 photography a lot. And on my channel, you can learn a lot about 360 photography and master a one-shot 360 camera like this like never before. Okay, now let's get started. LED panel pilot 1 is a standalone 8K one shot 360 camera and it's very good at 8K live stream and Google Street View blue lines. Although the photo is 8K only in JPEG, but the imaging quality is pretty awesome and the sharpness, the color size, and the switching result. It works really great with the inbuilt auto HDR mode. And with some preset in HDR, you can extract every pixel potential inside these cameras. It's also a great pleasure to use this camera to capture some real estate photos, virtual tours. But some people, they still want to have a perfect, just a seamless result to deliver the best possible service to their customers. And that is the reason why people choose to have a Pedigree Pro 12 to help them to generate the best possible result. To capture the photo with LED panel pilot 1 is just easy. Just put your camera in the desktop or the ground and take a shot with the Sometimes with the high photographer features, it just works great and wipe out the photographers. And if you want to know more about the feature, you can refer to my video down in my description. After each capture, you can uh, review the images just within the gallery app. Uh, actually, you can have different options for the stitching algorithm inside the lab and pilot one. You don't have to use the PDQ Pro 12 with different options such as the, uh, you can enable the optical flow stitch in the backstage. Uh, you can just turn on, turn it off. If by default the stitching is already good enough, you can just deliver that to your customer. And if you are not satisfied, I insist you first turn on the optical flow stitching in the option menu. And when you are running the gallery app in the fourth stage, it will automatically uh, substitute each one of the images with the optical flow result. It will take some time. I suggest you can charge the camera with the gallery app running in the fourth stage, and then turn off the auto power off after a cup of coffee, gotta go back, and gonna see all the images that refurbished with the optical flow stitching the blending. You can just review all the results in the gallery app and to see if you are satisfied because sometimes with optical flow stitch the result is pretty awesome. But if you're still not satisfied with that, this is where you need the PDQ Pro 12. The good news is that the PDQ Pro 12 actually already support all of the LED panel Pilot camera series from Pilot Era, Pilot 1, and Pilot 1 EE. With the Pilot 1 Enhanced Edition, considering the active information, is no differences compared with the LED panel Pilot 1 Classic. The PDQ Pro 12 has already natively support LED panel Pilot 1 Enhanced Edition. I now have my MacBook Pro in front of myself and LED panel Pilot 1. I'm gonna show you the PT Grip Pro 12 workflow with this camera. Yeah, this one is great and uh, I love this one. I'm gonna show you this workflow. Here I have opened my PT Grip Pro 12. Now I'm on beta 14, the latest version. And just drag and drop. Here you can see. And you can see in the PT Grip Pro 12, it will automatically import four times for you with different mask. Uh, different images. You can see one, two, three, four. The built-in stitching template, the four fisheye images should all already roughly aligned to imaging plane. Without any alignment, it's pretty awesome. Here you're gonna click on alignment, align its images, and you can see boom, the stitching lines is just awesome. Actually, I have already uh, very satisfied with the result. I'm gonna export directly with and without any modification on the control point. So in the optimizer, you can actually run optimizers to have a better stitching result. In the crop menu, if you are thinking that it has the PDQ Pro 12 has already cropped too much because we lose the Zenith, you can zoom out a little bit and uh, you can see now we have a bigger circle and each of the fish eye images go to that. You can see we have a smaller idea and you can also uh, run as optimizers okay and go to the control point sometimes you can delete the worst control points it will automatically delete the worst control point to you and make another optimization align once again here you can see the result is better than 
ever before. So there are still some stitching errors, I think. So this time I'm gonna use this uh, PSD format and with a blend panorama and individual layers to blend inside a single PSD file. Great, this panorama. And you're gonna have a PSD file right in the same folder with this image. And uh, you can see in this menu, there are altogether five images. So on the bottom is the blended panorama. Top of that, the four fish eye images with the layer mask. As you can see, let's take a closer look at the door. You can see that if you are not satisfied with this one, you can go back and forth to different images. At least this should be captured in a single shot. Here is this one. And go to the layer mask, go to, to the eraser menu, go to eraser and wipe out until you have recovered all of the stitching arrows. I think it's not hard at all, right? So you can see the door is now perfect and go back and forth to see all of the stitching arrows. Sometimes we can look back in the preview menu. I think it's done a pretty good job, right? I think the PDG Pro 12 is just amazing software. And on that is, you can use more in the interactive editing in the Photoshop. So I have already shown you in my previous video, so I'm gonna not show in this one. Here, let's see, uh, what about this one? Um, here you can see that, go back and forth. You can see the PDG Pro has really did a great job. If you will take a really close look at this part, there is a minor stitching arrows. So we can go back in this photo and uh, bring back all the details with a very simple trick and with layer mask like that, right? And you should just be really carefully with the PDG Pro 12 and the layer mask because uh, you're gonna deliver the best possible to your customers and I think it's worth the time. Okay, so by doing that, you're gonna have wipe out all the stitching errors with zoom in to 100%, 200%, and this one you can see. Um, let's take a look at that. This one and wipe out and the, doing some very small trick. Control Shift plus E to align to new layers. And on that layer, you can use some patching tools to patch this part until you get the best result. So sometimes it's a little bit time consuming to wipe out all these stitching errors, but this is the same to any one of the parts. So you can see this is before and this is after. So with a very simple trick in Photoshop with layer mask, you can finally wipe out all the stitching errors. So this is my workflow with the PDQ Pro 12 and this is how it works and this is how the magic happens on every one of my lab panel imaging series. From the previous video you can see actually you can generate a very high imaging quality straight out from the TPTQ Pro 12. So by default the blinding algorithm will generate a very good result with you especially when you shoot in a tiny space. Why do we need PDQ Pro 12? It's a paid software and it's not cheap for most of the consumers. The lab panel pilot one was designed to be a standalone 8K 360 camera. Why should we break in a workflow and go to the Mac and PC uh, to improve that quality by just a little bit? It is just not that cost effective and it's just not the way it should be. PDQ Pro 12 is actually a great software that could enhance your imaging quality to the best possible result. So let's really think about the PDQ Pro 12. What have we benefited from this stitching software? Number one is alignment. Actually, the PDQ Pro 12 could match the different control points in between the fisheye images and find the best possible alignment for the four fisheye images. So these four fisheye images could be distributed in the equirectangular plane, thus could generate the best possible result, best possible basement for the later the blending and the switching algorithm. So the number two which should benefit from PDB Pro 12 is the blending. The blending is just so powerful, especially with some artificial intelligence, the smart blending. We should see that the PDB Pro 12 is a very professional stitching software. You can manually add control points and you can just control almost everything 
from this start to finish. So alignment and blending are the two main features with benefit from Pedigree Pro 12. And let's rethink about alignment. Uh, Pedigree Pro find alignment by software, by matching the images on the plane. Actually, the camera actually know exactly where the fisheye images should be located in the final imaging plane because for each of the 360 camera in the factory, when the, the workman was assembling the cameras, they have to make calibration. They have to make alignment internally to find the internal and external parameters of each the optical lenses. Parameters should tell you where exactly should every one of the fisheye images should be located in the equirectangular plane. And that is the reason why this camera could have a very good in-camera stage. The, the camera already know all this information. The Lab Panel Pilot 1 should export five images. So no, the first image is the stitch result. Uh, no matter you have stitch with the conventional stitching algorithm or optical flow. So this is number one of the JPEG file in 8K resolution. So the other four images should be a single fisheye that dewarped into that equirectangular plane. That's all just exactly like we should have the individual layers in the Pedigree Pro 12. And this is where you have a natively aligned internally with the camera optical settings. And only engineer know these settings and only they can provide us this information in the middle of the workflow. And by exporting five JPEG images, actually we should have two more data to storage inside this internal storage. For every one of the image, it looks like uh, 30 megabytes. So multiply 30 megabytes by three, it's actually the 19 megabyte. Uh, it's a piece of cake for the data storage. And compared with 8K video, it's just not a big deal, right? So I think this would export in five images with four individual layers, or individual layers, Dewarped to the plane and with uh, exactly the external parameters apply these images to dewarp and align natively to the equirectangular plane uh, with some human uh, human intelligence uh, with the Photoshop with some layer masks we should wipe out all the stitching errors by ease and it take just a little while and by doing that we can get rid of PDG Pro 12 because uh, we have already know the alignment. We can skip the part of alignment. So for the blending on the basis of the 8K stitch result by the human blending, I think for most of the consumer level photographers, it's just an easy task. And this feature should be packed in the lab panel pilot one and all of the 360 industry. Uh, if, you, if you are 360 manufacturer and watching on my channel, you should learn something from my video and make your camera more user friendly to the professionals in the future. They don't have to purchase the Pedigree Pro 12 anymore, but still have a perfect and seamless result with the camera. And it's not that time consuming, it's very cost effective. And I think it should be a futuristic features. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So I will see you in my next one. Bye.